Okay, we're talking with Will Rubio and Matt. Matson. Matt Matson. Matt okay, right. and they're with Own It. So there it is. Own It. Own It. Mindset, Mindset training. training and personal, personal learning, learning profile, profile builder. builder. Okay, so. Right. What the heck is Own It? Own It is a mindset training. It's a character development uh, software. It takes kids through 10 uh, sections where they learn a bunch of different things about how to take responsibility for their own learning and not to put it all on the educator, not to put it all on the teacher, but essentially develop the skills that they're going to need to be successful in life as well as in their education. So, so how does that work? How do, how do they do that? Okay, so for, at the beginning... Because it, that's talking about just shifting, completely shifting a mindset, and you said mindset training, but if I come in and I've got years and years of thinking it's the teacher's responsibility to teach me, how do you make that shift? Well, it helps them to identify certain things, like ownership thinking versus victim thinking. Kids don't even know that they've been embedded with these with these tendencies to, to blame other people and to be victims, but as they go through, this is the guy that really should be in right here. But, uh, so it takes them from, from that sort of thinking, it, it helps them, there's a section on resetting presets, so understanding the things that you've kind of been uh, built in with from, from the time you came up to, to now, to reset those presets and ultimately to visioneer your own futures, a section on visioneering, to be able to visualize what, what it is that you actually want out of life and to set these goals to eventually become unstoppable. That's what the last section is called. So, how, uh, so I, it sounds like there's a lot of psychology built sure, into this. Sure, yeah. So what's the backbone of this? Where, 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 who, did it, who came up with this? What's it all about? Dennis Deaton is... Uh, he is for the past 30 years. He's been uh, on tour. Or he's been uh, training been on tour, like <laughs> like the Grateful Dead. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's done trainings for Kodak. Uh, uh, you don't I, I don't even. I couldn't even. I'd be lying if I told you. But a ton of Fortune 500 companies where he instills them with his skills. Uh, one, but his goal was to actually take this and put it into uh, the education market where kids can benefit from it. Because a lot of these skills, like as I was, in, as I got involved in this, honestly, my thought was because I, I wrote the the script. And, and, and we produce the, the the content for the video uh, for the video within each of these segments right. to make it entertaining. There's and ten segments, you said. There's ten sections ten in the program, but we wanted the video to be engaging so the you know the, the kids would stay involved. So it's all funny comedy. But as I was reading it, I'm like, man, I would have loved to have learned all this stuff when I was a kid. Um, because these are stuff that you try to, to learn as an adult and undo all that thinking that, that you had when you were a kid. Let's so. take a short break and listen to Matt play. Own it. You gotta own it. If you want the students to get where they want to get, you gotta own it. Oh my goodness, it's, it's two. Own it. <laughs> if you want to get where you want to get, own it. Okay, enough of that. Okay, now let's get back to what we were talking about. So, but very good. Clap, 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 clap. Good job, Matt. Okay, so what grade level are we talking about here? Uh, we focus mainly on middle schools and high schools and some junior colleges as well. Um, but yeah, so that age range generally is what the program is geared for. For middle schools and mm -hmm. high schools. And, and so, what kind of success have you seen? How do you, how do you measure success with this? Well, uh, we have, we're in front of eight, about 80,000 students. We've grown, uh, we've doubled in size year over year. We've been, uh, we've launched about th three years ago. Uh, and one of our, our, our schools, uh, we saw, a t uh, as far as a metric of success, Bryce will know these numbers better than I do. Bryce Johnson, come over here for a second. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bryce, Tell us about the, the Bryce, metrics you're, for success. You're becoming famous. You're about to become okay. famous, Bryce. Come on now. Big time vlogger. These ladies here. over here. What An signatures on their bandanas? Autographs on their bandanas. So, Bryce, we're talking about measuring success <laughs> yes. here. So, how do how do you measure success with these right with here. this program? Okay. Well, for, yeah, um, this is the standard of success of of American <laughs> educational manliness. <laughs> um, and, and quite the singer too. We, we do it a few. We do it a few ways. In fact, if you want, we can send you a couple case studies. We have six case studies on our on our desk that talk about the the different applications that schools or districts have used the last three years in, in measuring own it. So there's several different applications. One of the most specific is uh, Grad High Georgia is a is a statewide uh, uh, virtual school. They do have some walk-in centers. Highly transient population. Their kids took it. Uh, the kids who took Own It increased their attendance uh, above 20%. That translated at the high school. At the high, high school. school, yeah. 
and and that. Do they focus on a particular grade, or do they? Nine through twelve. Nine through twelve. Yeah, they're nine through twelve. The other thing that happened was those those same kids who increased their attendance then increased on-time course completion 23 percent and and uh, and retention student retention semester to semester 10 percent so double-digit gains by this one school now there's a school with a, a highly transient challenge population right. we also have is it English only or do you have it is cur it is currently English only okay. so there's but we are working on a couple of, uh, of, uh, of, of alternate languages probably not ready this coming uh, so is it an app is it a website yeah. how yeah. <laughs> it's it's delivered online but it's but it's completely appropriate for blended learning environments where there's in-class uh, right. uh, activities as well what kind but, of course would you embed this into do you think uh, some of our schools combine it with a CTE course. Some of them combine it with um, with an orientation. Some of them, uh, an orientation is a good time to do it because you finish with a student learning profile. That's this. And right teachers here. have access to that profile. Anybody you choose has access. To Parents it. have it. Parents can okay. if you if that's how you choose to do it. Okay. So, um, um, but then um, let's see. We were saying uh, we were saying. Uh, who has access? Uh, who has is access? it online? Right. It's online, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and it's, it's tablet ready. It's not yet mobile ready, but it's tablet ready. Okay. Um, and the the um, the the important thing is that it really is two products in one. Things that people often go to two products for. It's all in one, and right. that is um, it's a it's a mindset training for students and the teachers. But it's also there's this profile at the end. That that a student goes away with as a guiding uh, plan for their for their year, and they can come okay, in and so update the assessments anytime they want. So teachers get a profile. Yep. From own it. In fact, in profile. fact, what, would, what do they would, do with that I profile? Say, I would say first and foremost, the student gets the profile. Right. Because we want to flip the model. I mean, the, the, if you were to ask a kid for a metaphor of the relationship with the teacher, a lot of them will say, "Well, the teacher's the boss, and I'm the employee." And we turn it around and say, think of yourself instead as a, as a, as a professional athlete. And you're the athlete, and you hire the coach. The coach pushes you and guides you, but in the end, you're the boss, and they're the help. Right. 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 And we want kids to think about that. So they get this profile, and yes, it's available to the teacher, guidance counselor. If the school uses a mentoring or a coaching program, it's available to them. It's configurable by school. So however you want to do it, you make so that available. I understand how a student would use it. A student can see their profile. Mm -hmm. What would a teacher do with this profile? Mm -hmm. how, how would they use that mm -hmm. information? So uh, for instance, if, uh, if a school is doing it in the first, uh, uh, like before school starts, then each of those teachers... And I'm back. He's back. <laughs> um, uh, each of those teachers will then have be able to review that student's profiles before the first day of school, right? Okay. And, huge. And so all of a sudden that the path from zero to full rapport is jump started. Does that change? Does the profile change? Like if a student took that profile in as a as a freshman, mm -hmm. and that is, is it a one time deal? They never go back no, to it. No, it's, they it's never... fully editable. So anytime a student wants on their own or guided by a counselor can go back in and, and retake the ownership section or they can go in and they can retake the uh, the uh, the career interest so section. at ninth grade they take it at the beginning of the year then maybe 10th grade they can take it again at the beginning yeah. of the year they have the option some schools have their kids take all of the video and interactive content again new year you're a new person uh, you know where are you this year how have you grown this year some don't require their kids to take the content again but they do ask them to go in and update their profile and okay. and 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 update their goals for the year cool cool yeah okay so if somebody's interested in own it mindset training and personal learning profile builder yep. where do they go you could start with own it you.com which is own it you as in university dot com uh, but you can also call Bryce Johnson that's, that's you me, at eight zero five two five eight two zero two two and we and could also we'll contact... You can contact me. Uh, no, just don't contact me. At 805 <laughs> Same number. Same <laughs> number. It, it, if, if you call me, I'll be helping you with Own It every day. If you call him, he might be helping you with Own It and a new video scenario today. But he also might be uh, uh, shooting a new segment of his reality 
uh, uh, reality service oriented good prank show. Yeah. Positive prank show. Sure, it's called Random Acts. Random, Random Acts. RandomAxTV.com. Random right? Or if you call them, you might get Matt here oh, and singing I'll give a you song. Some, a serenade you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for talking to me yeah. this morning. I appreciate yeah, it. You bet. And it's yeah, Own It. At ownitu.com is yeah. where you get it. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me get you back. Da, 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 da. Hold on.